Hey everyone, if you stuck at configuring like this, your update has broke your RDS services. So follow along with me and let's open up the registry and we're going to make a small little change. So go ahead and type in regedit in a search and then when the registry editor shows, go ahead and click on it. Now navigate through you can see in the list there just navigate down and follow each one step by step go into windows nt then terminal services so basically what happened is microsoft updated and it broke the terminal services or the rd rds services and you could uninstall the update but most likely they're going to push the update on you again and it's going to break it over again so this is just a quick way of doing it and it's really simple because you can go in here and add it and if you decide to go back and, and delete it you can just go back and click on what we're creating here so right now we're going to right click create a new d word value and now we're going to name it f client disable udp and everything will be right in the description so you don't have to worry about it if you can't see it but once we create this we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna double click on it and we're gonna change that zero to a one and once you do that you are officially fixed your or I should say your computer is officially fixed so just go ahead and log out of your RDS services and then log back in and you should now be able to um, log in without any problems well hopefully um, Microsoft will fix this for us but if this helps you please give it a thumbs up thanks have a good night